let's say you want to do some uh, sculpting. Now, if you start off with this simple cube, go to sculpt mode, and you try to sculpt this. Nothing is going to happen. Probably, most of you probably know this already. You played around with Blender, but just in case, you're just starting, or just starting out with sculpting. Obviously, you've already learned that with Blender, you need vertices, edges, and faces to manipulate to change the. Uh, shape of the mesh. With the edit mode you see that the mesh here is really simple. Well, go back to sculpt mode and there's a thing here called Dynatopo or dynamic topology. You turn that on. Okay. And let's say you this detail size at 12 pixels. Now, same, looks the same, everything looks the same. And now, you can do stuff. It has the uh, shape, as you sculpt the shape, it dynamically adds more faces, more edges, more vertices automatically and it adds them at the dimensions that you specify here. Here you said 12 pixels, right? Now let's say you want to add smaller ones. Let's go half, six. Now we'll see that it's much finer detail. really awesome. Let's go back to edit mode just to look. You see that the facets are much smaller in this example than this. If you go back to sculpt, if you leave sculpt and come back, you have to hit click uh, time topo in because it gets unchecked. Now let's say just for fun we go back to 12 on this 12 pixels. Do the same thing. You'll see that now on top of the previous fine, fine mesh topology there. Much larger. How small they are here, how large they are. This is awesome. You can see that on the areas where you didn't do any sculpting, it also adds facets, but it does sort of a retopology of the entire 